Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun, and I need to make sure I have the timer set for the correct time and not just six minutes. Okay, timer, 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 there you are, 23 minutes. The service entrance to Harbor Spires Hotel looks like any other. Scuffed walls coated in chipped paint, a floor of well-worn hardwood, a time card reader hanging from the wall at a slight tilt. Nothing about the dingy, utilitarian confines of the room that you're in hints at the elegance and fine decor of the hotel beyond. I have always been fascinated by seeing how things worked, even as a child. I took apart everything that I could in the name of study. And here we are, in the innards of a fancy hotel, examining the viscera of the place, if you will. Your earpiece crackles to life, Isabel calling from the woman's lavatory. Well... A burst of static fills your ear, obliterating Isabel's voice. A second later, she cuts back in. You in position? I'm here, yes. You're kind of breaking up, though. Yeah, I, no, more white noise. Connection here is crap. The comms keep cutting. This doesn't bode well. Are you, why aren't you going to be giving us instructions over the comm? Yeah, hang on a sec. I'm... Trying to boost our signals. The sound cuts out entirely for a good five seconds. When Isabel's voice comes back, it's half again as loud as it was before. There. That's better. What a pain in the ass this is. There's way too much interference coming from the show floor. We aren't going to be able to rely on our calm links. There. That's better. What a pain in the ass this is. There's way too much interference coming from the show floor. We aren't going to be able to rely on our comlinks for this. I'll find us a workaround. <sighs> this doesn't inspire confidence. I hope you do it fast. This entire plan hinges on our being able to communicate. Like I said, I'll find a workaround. For now, let's concentrate on the task at hand. <laughs> the catering staff should all be in the kitchen, hauling trays of stewed steamed clams and aperitifs out to the convention hall floor. I'm going to need you to find a way to get me one of their uniforms, one that will fit someone my size. Would it make more sense for me to disguise myself and deck the admin computer? It would be if you had any decking whatsoever. But again, let's check to see just how much decking skill you have. Your decking skill is a whopping zero. Your intelligence is two, which is average. Your biotech is one, which means you're a passable medic. You're not a professional one of any means, but yeah. Okay. Find a dwarf size catering uniform. Check. I'm on it. Good. Oh, and Noel, we aren't going loud yet. Got it? Whatever you do, don't start shooting. We can't afford to send Rhombus running before we can get him cornered. Keep Isabel alive. Right. No shooting until we have Rhombus. Got it. Okay. So, we have a couple of things we can do here. This can go badly wrong. The fact that it gave us warnings about don't shoot means there's going to be chances for things to go wrong. This panel controls simple building maintenance and safety features. While the panel's admin level user interface has been locked away behind a biometric fingerprint reader, a skilled decker could easily bypass such restriction. View archived work manifest logs. Hmm. Wang, millions. The damn sprinklers went off again. The entire kitchen was flooded and Chef Bun quit. We're going to have to go with third party caterers for the big event this weekend because we sure as hell can't steam a few thousand clams without any kitchen staff. Walk away. Okay. First thing we're going to do that I should have been doing a little bit is do a save game. This game does quite a few automatic saves, but as you can see, one didn't happen here. Ooh, we can send a drone into a vent. Very nice. We have a drone with us. Thank you, Rector. The wall vent looks large enough to accommodate a standard security drone. Send a drone through the vent. Activate a drone to send into the vent. Servo tuning, Ractor manually tunes the targeted drone servos, increasing its quickness and strength for one round. Ractor overclocks the targeted drone, increasing its AP by one and movement by two for one round. 
Dragster manually aims the drone's optics, increasing its accuracy by 8 to 12% for one round. Manual focusing. Hmm. Dragster uh, remotely reroutes the tra targeted drone to use backup circuits, repairing the most recent battle damage. Repair kit. Repair kit. Med kit. There we go. This is what I want. Control mode. Good thing it was immune. Okay. Transition. Oh, okay. End. Go to here. End. End. This is useful. Pick up uniform, dwarf sized. Item picked up. Send drone into the vent. Very useful. So I wish, um, you know, it didn't require the combat things where everybody get out of turn. That would have been useful. But I guess the limits of the engine and such. Here we go. Oh good, it automatically ends. Okay, so we still need to get over there. And we are in a combat area. That's not encouraging. I didn't think Bug City happened this early. Will you guys freak out if I come through here? The Harbor Spire's kitchen are a whirlwind of activity. Attractive twenty-somethings in white catering uniforms dash in and out of the room, their arms laden with heaping trays of steaming shellfish. One man stands still amidst the chaos, the eye of the storm. His white coat at least half again wider than those of his subordinates. Nobody's wearing a white coat. And his collar is starched as stiff as a board. The floor manager notices you and his eyes narrow. He stalks toward you practically frothing at the mouth. You can't help but notice. The embroidered corporate logo on his lapel. Pastry, magic, and more. Fine catering. The image is completed by a stylized rendering of what appears to be a frog and kitten standing astride a pair of shooting stars. Okay. You, what are you doing in my kitchen? He glances at your chest, sees the visitor badge hanging from the lanyard that Isabel gave you dangling from your neck. Convention goers are not allowed beyond the, sh the show floor. I'm sorry, I must have gotten turned around. Do you know where the Shiawasi kiosk is? No, I don't. I know where your damn kiosk is. Go ask on the show, show floor. Are you stealing clams back here? Yes, idiot. Yes, we are. And if you want some, you're going to have to wait on the show floor with everyone else. Now get out. Go. We have work here to do. Okay, so we're going to get out. That was the only thing we had to worry about, apparently. Okay. This is me panning. The computer's not doing this. This perfect persona. Huh. Wonder what that is. Well, I doubt it's a persona game. That's interesting. Tech. Fuchi. You could actually have a deck con because, you know, decking is a legitimate practice as well as a Shadow, uh, shadow one. Oh my goodness, look at all the goodies. Huh. So. We're going to go in here. Thank you, Rector. You made that much easier. You enter the woman's restroom to find Isabel waiting impatiently for you. Rector, what are you doing in here? Please, stand outside and guard the door. Please, stand outside and guard the door. This is the woman's restroom. 
Her guest badge dangles from its lanyard at a canted angle, and the clumped ropes of her hair look frazzled. At the sight of you, she steps forward. You're here. Good. I was getting tired of hanging out in the ladies' room. You have the uniform? Hand it to her. There you go. She eyes the embroidery, the logo, nodding. Good, good. This will work. All right, I'm going to change into this thing and hightail it to the employee's only door on the far side of the convention hall. They'll let me in even without a badge. They'll just figure some rich guy wants a drink. Where's the VIP area? On the other side of the convention floor, I'll have to cross the show floor to do it, but that should be safe enough. Nobody pays attention to the catering staff on these things. So I'll make my way across, past the door, and take the elevator up to the admin wing on the sixth floor. All that you need to do is take your position and wait for my instructions without raising an alarm. Pretty simple stuff. Should I'm doing the wrong voice for you again. Not nearly slow enough. Pretty simple stuff. Should be foolproof, assuming that you don't screw anything up. Do you have any questions? I like the fact that they put the question things here. Because it acknowledges the fact that you might be coming into this after putting the game away for a while and might have forgotten what you're doing. Have you figured out what you're going to do about that spotty comic connection? Yes, there's a demo kiosk near the VIP entrance. It's running some new Matrix avatar editing suite. Or something like that. The software is called Perfect Persona. When I get to the admin area, I'm going to patch myself into the Perfect Persona console and we're going to communicate through that. It isn't a perfect solution, but it beats having to deal with a dropped connection. Just be sure to grab the kiosk when you're in position. Don't let anyone else get to it. Hmm. What should I do between when you leave and when you get in position? What am I supposed to do on the show floor again? Wait by the VIP area door. When I identify Rumbus, you'll apprehend him and tell him that he's the lucky winner of a complimentary VIP pass or upgrade. You'll escort him through the VIP doors into a room that I'll have empty and waiting. And then we'll all get the software from him together, beat him up, and stash him in a closet. What should I do between when you leave and when you get in position? Probably do nothing. Walk the show, floor, mingle, try to look like you belong here. Just try not to say or do anything that will stand out in a bad way. You're supposed to be a hot new decker in town. Try to act the part. No questions. Let's hit it. Okay. Maybe it would be better to have Ractor play the uh, the Decker and me not. Okay, so we got optionals. Keep Isabel alive, blend in, explore the convention floor, locate and travel from us. We've got so many optionals. We're going to need to be there. What do you want to bet that when we get done with the optionals, that will be uh, it'll be time to move over to there? Okay. So, I am thinking you are going to be last because you're the closest one to the perfect persona. Did. I trigger something? Okay, I can talk to you now. As you approach the corner of the convention floor and you find a brightly lit entrance, there are signs on the door on the walls pointing towards Simpsons Parlor Decking Area. As you draw closer, convention staff are in a bland uniform steps towards you. Sorry to say, but we're a bit crammed right now. If you hang tight, we should be able to squeeze you in soon. Maybe there's maybe a half hour wait. Please, places like this never run at full capacity. You're keeping a few VIP slots in the back, right? We're full up. I don't know what else to say. You need to wait like everyone else. Stay cool, and we'll get you in as soon as possible. Alright. I mean, I could... do this, but it'll raise security, likely. I could do this, but again, it'll attract attention. All right, I'm going. Enjoy the show. So, okay. A pot-bellied troll with two days worth of mangy stubble smiles and turns to face you. The chrome of his data jack shimmers wetly in the light, but his cyberdeck is suspiciously absent because the 
was he absent? Hey, what's going on? Headspace is his name. His, his badge hangs low on his lanyard. You catch a glimpse of the decking, his decking handle, Headspace. Strange to see someone at a deck con without a cyber deck. I could say the same about you. Where's your deck, woman? Ah, uh, don't have one. I'm here to cover the event for the Shadowland BBS. That'll be... No, no, let's not do that. I left it in my hotel room. Bad place for you to do it. This entire show is a pissing contest, in case you didn't know. Walking around without a deck is like, well, use your imagination. So where's your deck? He didn't give us an answer. He taps his head with a smile. Right up here. I've got the next generation of decking technology. A cranial cyber deck. So that I, so that when black ice smears me across the uh, cyberspace, it doesn't just frag my deck, it'll frag my brain too. It continues without waiting for response. It's the apex of modern decking technology. Miniaturized. Impact. Easy to sneak into the most sensitive locations, and I don't need to lug a great big external deck around with me anymore. It's a night and day difference between this and my old Fairlight Excalibur friend, night and day. Where'd you get your cranial deck? The Chop Chop Shop in Kowloon City. They told me not to ask where it came from. He chuckles to himself. Lots of things fall off trucks out of Kowloon Way. I'm sure this was that this was the same. Why get a deck installed in your head? Why wouldn't I? It's compact, it's versatile, it's fast and powerful. With this sweet baby, I can deck wherever I go. Whenever I want, without having to lug something the size of an electronic keyboard around with me. It's the best of all worlds, I'm telling you. You gotta get one yourself. Or, you know, get something that's e more easily upgradable than having to go into surgery every time you want to upgrade your deck. Or something you can improve yourself, because... If your deck is in your head, you can't make improvements to it yourself. You have to have somebody else do it. Yeah, <sighs> there's a lot of not liking that. <laughs> uh, Isabel's voice crackles it in over your comlink. This guy's an idiot. Cranial cyberdecks are a terrible idea for more reasons than I can count. Deckers swap out their gear every couple of months. You want someone monkeying around in your brain that often? I'll make it easier for you. You don't. The troll continues, blissfully unaware of Isabel's interruption. So, oh yeah, have I sold you on a head desk deck of your own yet? Come on, you know that I have. <clears throat> Why don't you have people poking around in your head every time you need to upgrade? He blinks. Well, uh, I guess, but that thing is going to be obsolete within six months. And then you're going to what? Get more brain surgery? He crosses his arm, sets his jaw. It's no different from installing an encephalon. And everyone does that. What do you know anyway? Nothing. Not a thing. Now leave me alone. Encephalon's a significant difference. What are you? And why aren't you blue? You have a white thing. You're an entirely flavor, aren't you? The man... As technology? <laughs> the man standing at the As Technology demo station looks strangely out of place at, at a Decker convention. He isn't carrying a cyber deck, and you don't see any signs of cyberware on his person, not even a data jack. He looks up from the kiosk, blinking. Did you want to use this? Am I in your way? He sounds preoccupied. He shifts his body, and his movements are unnaturally smooth and graceful. As he moves, you can see that the kiosk screen is flickering. Apparently, the demo software is glitched out. Use astral perception to read the man's aura. I can't. Nah, just passing by, man. Didn't mean to bother you. Okay, fine. That's fine. Enjoy the show. He turns back to the kiosk, his eyes blink. That would be interesting. Software demo station. This terminal is running a demo of S Technologies' new format agnostic cyber deck. Which I missed because I went and looked down over here. Oh well. Product display. Rack high capacity stick memory devices patent pending. Can't get in there. Well, I probably could, but I don't want to. I'm saving you for last. Oh, look. Convention goal. Of course, this year's new model will feature our new. Blah, 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 blah. I missed it. 
Does that mean it won't be compatible with older jack interfaces? Unfortunately, we couldn't bring you the ultimate data jack uplink space without redesigning the interface. You will have to upgrade your data jack to take advantage of these exciting new features. But I have these vouchers to help you with that. Your claw link crackles to life with an ear splitting. Yes, Isabel. Okay, I've jacked into the admin. I can, uh, primitive, but I can work with it. Are you in position yet? No, not yet. Get to the waiting position near the VIP entrance. Use the kiosk. Remember, perfect persona. Use the perfect persona kiosk to talk to you. Copy that. While you're getting there, I'll start working on getting your VIP access and locating... The line goes dead. Got it. I'll signal you when ready. There is no response. Whether Isabel can hear you or not remains a mystery. Okay. So we don't get to look around if there's any more exploring you'd like to do out here on the floor. You best do it now before we use that kiosk. I doubt we'll get the opportunity to do it afterwards. We'll look around a bit more before we hit the kiosk. Okay, we actually do get to do things. Elderly Decker with nickel-plated data jack turns to face you smiling. Ain't this a hell of a thing? Lovely show, lovely show. He nods eagerly, rubbing his hands. Lots and lots of shiny toys. Noel, and you are? He grabs his, your proffered hand and shakes it vigorously. Call me Turtle. Been going to DeckCon for damn near 20 years now, and it's never looked half as nice as it does now. Really? Yeah, the show's really gotten big in the past couple of years. He gestures at the fair light booth off in the distance. Lots of corporate money flowing into these, this thing these days. The old Decker lowers his voice to a conspiratorial whisper. I've heard that the guy who first organized the show sold out to some big promoter took home a six-digit paycheck. I had some friends. I have some friends that used to run a con called Chimera Con. And they sold the rights to it to a person that they thought were going to help make it bigger. And, or, I don't know the full details. They worked, we're working with somebody that did another con. And their thoughts, the, the expectation was that they were going to help make uh, Chimera Con much bigger. But instead, the people that ran the other con just killed Chimera Con for, I guess, reasons of seen it as competition or well, who knows maybe just being terrible people um so yeah one of my favorite yearly cons chimera con gaming con run by independent gamers in uh, san antonio died like that because somebody made that choice okay lots of young guys have been bitching and moaning all over shadowland about that but not me i've been around long enough to know the score if someone offers you that kind of money you Take it. Where'd you get your handle from? Turtle's a funny name for a Decker. Oh, an old, old piece of software. Something that went absolutely well before your time, he grins. I guess I'm showing my age, but something about that little cluster of pixels always made me happy. Are you here to see anything in specific? I got my eyes on a couple things this year. I'm going to check out the Fairlight booth, of course. Now Fuchi's doing some interesting things with miniaturization. I'm going to go to a new video. See you in a moment. <laughs>